make sure to subscribe and of course ring that bell, turn those notifications on so you don't miss my next video. Hey Critter Crew, it's Kristen and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. So for today's video, we are diving back into another building tutorial. Now I have been getting a lot of requests to do more of these, so of course if there are any other things that you guys want to see a tips and tricks or a tutorial on here in Adopt Me Building, definitely make sure to let me know down in the comments. So for today, we are actually going to be going over how to build your very own customized closets into any room of your Adopt Me home. So you guys have seen me include these in a lot of my builds lately, especially like the Dragon Home, the Mini Mermaid Mansion, and all of those. So for today, I am gonna be showing you guys everything that you're gonna need to build your very own. So with all of that said, let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first thing that we are gonna do is go ahead and actually pull out all of the items that we are gonna be using in the tutorial. So we're gonna go over first to the fashion category and pull out two of the clothing racks. Now overall, this is actually a really inexpensive way to add like something really cute into your home. The only expensive thing is the new sign that we have. So you guys can find this in the new category and also the cute category. So for this particular closet, I actually find that using the sign that doesn't glow works best. So next what we're gonna do is choose where we want to create our closet. So I put this in the middle so that you guys can see that you don't always need to make your closets up against a wall. So you can put them wherever you want, as big or as small as you want as well. So you're gonna wanna place your clothing rack first because if you go ahead and place the bottom layer of the bricks, your clothing rack will sit on top of it the same as the floor and you're not gonna be able to hide the wheels on the bottom. So doing it this way is really just gonna make it look realistic where it's only your clothes hanging and you're still going to wanna see the top bar so that it looks like a real closet with your clothes hanging on top. So then we're just gonna build up the sides so that it goes just over where that clothing rod is. And of course, we're gonna pull out our handy dandy barrier. <laughs> now this one, you guys will see I had a little bit of difficulty with. So I am gonna take this back off here shortly. But um, yeah, so what you're gonna wanna do is basically just repeat the exact same thing that we did before. Now the only thing is when it comes to adding the barrier and your bricks, it doesn't exactly go to the like proper height. So I ended up taking the clothing rack back down, changed the placement grid to small until I was able to merge it till it was like perfectly smooth, you guys will see. And then we just went ahead and did the exact same thing as we did on the bottom. So make sure that you have enough space on the sides so that you can see like all of your clothing. One thing that I really like to do is rotate the colors of the clothing. So I'll put one with like the pink at the front and then the other you'll see has the red at the front. So it just kind of makes it look like it's not a duplicated item for as many, you know, clutter items as we're lacking. <laughs> In Adopt Me, you kind of just have to make it work with what we have. So again, you are gonna see, I think I used about four or five bricks tall. And just kind of again, same as the bottom, you're just gonna wanna bring up enough bricks so that you are just over that clothing rod. So we will go back in and change this to white to match the rest of it. Now the good thing about this, you're gonna be able to make your closet whichever color that you want. So if you want it to have that light brown to kind of match with like a lot of the wooden Adopt Me furniture, you definitely can do that as well. And you can even have like black ones if you wanna make it like super quiet, if you wanna make it pink. But this one we are just doing white because it's super easy peasy. And again, we're just gonna play around with that barrier. It can be a little bit like finicky, but you guys just kind of play around with it. It's not that hard. It's just a little bit time consuming. So I was gonna cut this out, but I just wanna show you guys, sometimes it just takes a little extra work to make sure that we can line it all together. So we are almost done. So as you can see, we are just gonna go back in and change the color. I think this one would have looked really cute with that really light brown shade that you guys have seen me use a ton in my builds for like kitchen counters and stuff. I'm kind of obsessed. I call it blonde wood because 
that's just what I'm used to calling it. It's just the shade, but yeah, it's kind of like one of my favorites other than like white for accent furniture. So we're just gonna go ahead now. Like I said, if you wanted to add this into a clothing store and you wanted to make it tall as your wall, you definitely have the option to customize this if you wanna make it longer, if you wanna make it like the length of your whole entire home wall, it is very easy to do that as well. So um, yeah, we're gonna go in and actually place the backdrop. Now you can't use a barrier for like if you make it smaller because the barrier will actually stick out from the sides. But the good thing is you can just take these bricks and just place them on the back wall and change the color to white and it'll actually make it look like a realistic closet. So you're not gonna be able to see like the wallpaper behind. So it does look like a really customized piece in your home. So we're just like placing them down. Now I accidentally grabbed the top part of my closet. <laughs> so you guys will see me like go back in and like fix that as well. Now the good thing about the bricks, it's not that hard to have them just kind of like cover each other up. And here we're just kind of like fixing the top part of the closet. So this is probably one of my favorite things, honestly, to like add into my bedrooms. I think it just makes them look so cute, finished, and gives them like a little extra personal detail. So we're just placing them. Like I said, it's basically like playing with Lego and it's really easy to have them like sink into each other so you don't have like different heights of your bricks. We just have like one extra piece way up in the corner and we now have a missing piece. <laughs> so we're just gonna place another one in here. Now the bricks are only $3, so it's really not that expensive to kind of play around with them as well. So we have like one more piece in the back and the closet is almost finished. So you can leave it as this if you didn't wanna spend that $150 but I have used this in a lot of my builds, so I'm just gonna show you exactly how I was able to add this. So you're gonna wanna take your barrier and you're gonna wanna use a small placement just so you can push it just behind the front of the closet so you can place it on the wall. And I have it just so it looks like it's actually sitting on the shelf as like a shelf sitter. And you can put whatever text if you just want this to say like shirts or pants or closet like I have or anything else like that. You guys will be able to customize this exactly as you want. Yeah, we're gonna put, let's put closet and then we're just going to have to delete out the barrier. So place it just as we want and delete. All right guys, well that is everything for today's build tutorial. Like I said, it is very, very easy and it's actually pretty inexpensive to add this to your home and you don't even need to add the closet. You can put anything in there if you wanna have like shirts, pants, or just like the racks of clothing. So you guys have seen me add this in a lot of my builds and honestly, it just makes it look so adorable and adds a little bit of clutter into your build. So if this is something you guys wanna see me do more of here on my channel are these tips and tricks and how-to tutorials here in Adopt Me. Of course, make sure to let me know down in the comments and of course, leave some suggestions on some different things that you guys would like to see me attempt to recreate for you guys here in game. So make sure to give today's video a very big thumbs up. It always lets me know that you guys did enjoy and hopefully I'm gonna see you all next time. Bye guys. Thank you.